Welcome to The Voice Zone, helping you speak your best with internationally recognized speech coach Patrick Munoz. Hi, everybody. Patrick Munoz here with today's podcast. I made a commitment this year to get a video out every two weeks, and I'm happy to report five months into this new year that that has been on track. What I've not been keeping up are my podcasts, so I'm happy to get back into that routine of doing podcasts on a more regular basis to get my word out about voice and speech and how you can become a more powerful speaker. In today's podcast, I want to discuss my latest undertaking, and that is my new audiobook called 51 Affirmations for Being a Powerful Speaker. One of my big interests is in continuing to put out material that can help people with specific issues. Last year, I was very happy to come out with my first book, Accent American, the Complete Guide to Speaking the Standard American Accent. With it is a full audiobook, and when I first decided to write that, I thought it would take me a very short time since I knew what I was talking about. It was material that I went over weekly with my clients, and I really had a desire to get it out. However, that wasn't my experience. It took time. It took rewrites. It took sending it to a publisher and having them say, it's not quite long enough, you need to expand it. Eventually, after many rewrites and many listenings and many times going over it with my clients, I finally put it out last year and was super excited. What I'm really excited about this year is this new audiobook, 51 Affirmations for Being a More Powerful Speaker with Patrick Munoz. The reason I decided to do this first was because affirmations are something that I practice with my clients on a daily basis. I find that it's really powerful, not only for our thought process, emotional state, and mindset, but it's really powerful for the voice. By saying something over and over again, our breath starts to deepen our body starts to relax, and our voice grows stronger. So I began the writing process of this book about six months ago. Within six weeks, I had fleshed it out, recorded it fully, and was preparing to publish it. But I realized it needed more work. I needed to explore it more. As I did that, I realized I needed to make choices. Simple things, like that I use the word questions or explorations. Over the months since then, I've been rewriting the book with the help of my assistant and getting feedback from some of my clients. I'm really excited now because we have three parts to it. The first part are the affirmations themselves. I say them loudly and then you repeat them. But part two is where we get into depth and we start to look at each affirmation individually. One of the key things I've discovered in life is finding out what's working and what's not working and finding out how I can let go of those beliefs, ideas, mentalities that don't work for me and how can I work towards those thoughts, ideas, feelings, mentalities that do work. In part two of the affirmations, we go through each of these in depth. And I ask questions. No, not questions, explorations. In fact, that was one of the choices I needed to make was, do we call them questions or do we call them explorations? Ultimately, I decided to use the more open-ended word, explorations. And that's something else I want to share. Part of any experience is making decisions. Sometimes the decisions I made, I thought, is it the best decision or could I do better? And so I made the decision that was best at the time, gave it another day or two, looked back at the material, and then based on what I felt at that moment, made a new decision. But each time I tried to make the best decision I could and then move on. That's all we can do in life, right? Make a decision and then move on. 
Part of that is trusting ourselves. And it's so important to have that basic trust in ourselves that we can achieve what we want, that we can work toward our goals and make them happen. And finally, the third part of the book are the meditations. So I speak the affirmations once again, but this time in a very calm, quiet voice. And they're meant as a way of going to sleep or as a way of relaxing during the day and getting yourself into a calm, meditative state where these new thoughts and ideas start to become part of our mindset. I bookend the audiobook with both a story of how I came across affirmations, that's in the beginning, and I close the book with some of my favorite quotations, one of which is from Abraham Lincoln, and it goes something like, most people are as happy as they make up their mind to be, which is so key. The way we see the world is so key to how we proceed in life. I've made some videos on that. The personality vision board, the voice vision board, things that you can look back on both in my podcasts and in my videos, and they are ways of refocusing the way we see the world. So much is about our perception of things, and that's why I've written this affirmations book. Why can't we look at ourselves as being perfect the way we are? as being strong, as being handsome, being beautiful, being powerful. I could just as easily say about myself, oh, I'm weak, I'm insecure. So these affirmations are a way of rejiggering that. I'm really excited because in the next month or two, I will have this book out and it will be available to my audience. As I proceed, I'm going to be confident in what I do. And one of the biggest things is trusting myself just as I encourage you to trust yourself. And finally, having fun in the process. You know, it took a lot of time, and that time came across to me as being work. I had to sit in front of my computer, listen to what I said, rewrite it, type out what I said, rewrite that, re-record it, and it became work. But at the end of the day, I've created something I'm going to be proud of that is going to help people and that is a new way of working on our voice and being a powerful speaker, which as a voice and speech coach is my intention. So it makes me feel very good about what I'm doing and I realize I'm going to have some fun in getting my book out there. To all of you today, remember, your dreams can come true. You can achieve your goals. It takes a few simple steps of writing down what your dreams are, writing down what your goals are, looking at what's getting in the way, both in yourself and in the world, and trying to release, let go, and work through those fears or worries or obstacles one step at a time. I'm Patrick Munoz. Thanks for listening.